Hi everyone, Gerdy here, Dare Greatly Guiding Coach. And today I want to talk about moving with the mountain. It's something that uh, I've thought bef about before and it came up when I was hiking with a client uh, a couple of weeks ago. Because moving with the mountain is not just uh, about keeping your own pace, it's about more than that. Um, what often happens, especially when uh, I work with people, with clients who live a um, high-paced, high-stressed, high-stressed uh, life, who are um, in a career that is a high-pressure career, who do a thousand and one things a day uh, at a high pace and at the end of the day find that they still have about 900 things on their to-do list um, and when they come to me and when we go hiking together what usually happens is that they um, treat the mountain treat the hike as though it is something else that has been added to their already very long to-do list and um, they attack the mountain pretty much as if they, uh, at the same pace as they would their to-do list. Their a thousand and one things long to-do list. Now, when you attack a mountain like that, the mountain's going to win. Because the mountain has been there a lot longer than you have, than we have, and it will be there long after we've gone. So, when you try to race up a mountain the same way, at the same pace that you um, move through your regular life, that for most people, and I mean 99 out of 100, is not going to end well. So what I kept telling my client, what I keep telling my clients, is that they don't have to fight the mountain, they don't have to attack it, they have to find a way to move with the mountain. Now what do I mean by that? What I mean, let's see the bad view here, let me see if I can show you, there we go. Look at that. So what I mean by moving with the mountain is find a pace that you can maintain and when all of a sudden, or when, or not, all, not necessarily all of a sudden, but when the trail gets steeper and um, as you ascend, slow down. Don't try to attack it. Don't try to maintain the pace that you've been maintaining at, uh, on the flat stretches. Slow down when it goes up. Go even slower when it gets steeper. Enjoy the relatively short and relatively flat uh, stretches that may come in between. Those are the stretches where you can relax your legs, uh, relax your lungs, you know, stop everything from burning. Every now and again stop, look around, let your mind wander, breathe, because that's something else that people forget to do, or not, for, not something else that people forget, that is something that people forget to do often. And you know, when you start moving again, find that same space, find that same pace. So when it goes up like that, and it keeps going up like that, move with the mountain. Now you may think uh, that's incredibly hard. I'm not saying it's easy. I had to. Uh, it took me a while to learn that. I hiked a lot of miles and a lot of altitude pages before. I got the hang of it, and even now, after years and years and many, many hikes, there's still moments where I let myself be pulled in and hike too fast, uh, and sort of attack the mountain. But um, you know, when you, especially when you live a high-stress life, when you have, um, when you're in a high-stressed, high-paced corporate career, and even when you're uh, a family man or uh, a family woman, 
stay at home, stay at home dad or stay at home mom. And with all the activities that kids these days have on their calendar, being a mom or being a dad can be as stressful and high paid as um, somebody working in a, uh, in a corporate career. So, in the mountains, not only in the mountains, also in regular life, don't try to attack, don't attack the mountain, don't attack every task and try to fight your way through the mountain, fight, fight your way straight up the mountain, fight your way through every task that there is, but move with it. Be flexible. Every now and again stop, breathe and take in the view. Because it would be a pity if you missed views like this. Look at that. Now if you were to attack the mountain, that, that over there, you wouldn't see it because all you would be seeing is the ground where you have to put your feet. And that kind of defeats the purpose of a mountain hike. All right, so that's my message for today. Find a way to move with the mountain. Find a way to move with the hard tasks and the hard assignments that you have in your life. And then it's, uh, life might turn out to be a lot easier. So, as always, go there greatly. And if you're hiking, be safe out there. Bye-bye.